I bought a 3D printer. Um, they're 200 quid now, and if you make anything, uh, they're great. Just learn a bit of 3D CAD and uh, make anything you want. So, um, I don't like make figurines or any of this crap. Um, no offence. So what I thought I'd do um, is because at the same time as I bought this, I came across this channel on YouTube called the Slingshot Channel. And there's a guy on there, he's a German guy, I think his name is Jörg Sprav. And uh, he's got some really cool inventions. Uh, he makes things in plywood and uh, one of the things he made is a little mini repeating bow. I think he called it a, a Legolini, something like that. Anyway, so I've kind of made one in, in a 3D print, which works. Manual bow. So, holding on to it, um, you draw it back, or you push it in, you latch the uh, string in here, you have the trigger, and you hold in the handle, draw it back, and then click the release. It works just fine. It's got a magazine with seven shots, so you got, you know, bang, 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 bang. No problem. Anyway, he's gone one step further, and he's gone full auto. So this is my version of full auto. So, as I have many hoverboards and such like knocking about, and e-bike controllers, and hoverboard power supplies, I kind of figured that would be the way to go. Uh, he's used a drill. Um, so, if this works, I will actually make a proper bow to go on this, not sort of a lashed up hand bow that's been um, put on a jig effectively uh, to make it run. Anyway, so let's have a little let's have a little uh, go at this and um, see if it doesn't jam. Because I know it. Well, I know it does jam. I'll tell you why in a minute. Let's have a look anyway. No jammings. Very good. So we've got, um, well, that's quite good grouping, really, I suppose. And then it is fixed. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, is that six? Might be seven. Can't really count in there. Might be another one still left in the machine. No, it's gone. Cool. Empty. Right, so uh, I'll just run it from the side just to see it go uh, nice and slow. Oh. It's got no hall sensors in the motor at the moment. I haven't connected them because they're different connectors. We'll do it eventually, but I need to run it fast enough to make it spin, otherwise it'll stall. Hey. And it kicked backwards. And it got no holes. Anyway, so... Um, not a bad little device for developing. Now, if I run that fast, I know what will happen. Um, the arrow doesn't fall down, um, especially not at the front, because this retainer, uh, it's only really pushing it back uh, near the back, which is fine if you're going fairly slow. So it works for a hand bow. Um, you need more even pressure uh, if you're going to do um, full auto and uh, probably needs a, in the front here where it's jammed in, because you know, basically the arrow just eh, jammed it in that way and uh, it has actually damaged it, but hey, never mind. Um, just print another one. Um, so uh, I'll just make that lip uh, inside, the, I'll just make it tapered and uh, stronger uh, and put a proper spring, like even pressure spring on it and, uh, and everything will be fine, I'm sure. Um, so, well, there you go, really. So it's a bit of a, a little bit of a uh, development job, and we can tidy this up, make it faster, make it stronger. Um, it's only got maybe I don't know, is it fifteen or twenty pounds? I did put a, I did put a, um, a spring balance uh, on it when I drew it the other day. Um, but this is just ten post office elastic bands on each side, and a bit of uh, that's a, you know. Out of an old uh, training shoe trainer, hey, it's uh, it does the job. It'll do. 
Um, it's not exactly going to be you know a hundred pound bow. I'm not really interested in that sort of thing. Just want a bit of a tie. So uh, yeah, watch this space. I shall develop it further. Um, and the obvious next development, because this is only seven shots, is to um, make a magazine to slot over the top or slot into a recess um, that will then uh, slot it on, shoot off whatever it's going to be. I'll probably do about 20. I mean, if that's seven, 20 will be, you know, sort of up here, near here. Much more it'll start to get silly. <laughs> I know Jörg had a 40 uh, arrow magazine on the top of his and uh, it, it looks a bit crazy. <laughs> you should uh, find his video if you're interested in this. Or maybe you've watched that and you found this one. Hey. Um, so yeah, the idea is this will get wider. So basically I'm going to take this part of the, the 3D design, the, the arrow piece, that will become a magazine with a retainer on the bottom, the spring system on the top, um, and then I'll make the actual bow body, uh, the bottom half of this, but wider, so that the magazine will slot in, and then that will open the release, uh, and it will act all as one, one piece then. I mean, I don't need to pull the magazine out when it's full, so it won't, you know, it won't have that lovely uh, sort of uh, reclosing facility. It'll be, pop it in, empty it, pull it out, shove another one in, give it some more. It's a technical challenge, and that's all I'm really interested in. So, um, yeah, watch this space. I shall, I shall pop another video up once I've uh, developed this further, which might be a while actually. But hey, never mind. We'll. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's all, it's all a bit of fun at the end of the day. Right. Bye bye.